Do you guys see that? The thing on my neck? It's a pimple. Gross! I never had a pimple on my neck before, so I don't know why this just popped up. I think it's due to stress and lack of sleep. I'm just like breaking out everywhere. Anyway, good afternoon. It's the start of a whole new week. Uh, it's Monday today, actually. I didn't record yesterday because all I did was just uh, study and edit, so nothing up uh, interesting to watch. Um, but I just got out of class, and um, I'm just so freaking tired. I can't wait to go home. I'm going to take a nap and then I'm going to study because I have my first exam for maternity uh, tomorrow. So I'm actually really nervous. But we didn't get a lunch break. Good thing I brought a lot of snacks with me because I was so hungry. I always bring a lot of snacks with me to school. I don't really have food at home so I'm going to stop by like Chipotle maybe and get some lunch because you know I love some Chipotle. It totally was sunny just two seconds ago and now it's gotten real cloudy. Look at it, it's so massive, this cloud. Looks like it's gonna rain. I got my Chipotle and they drew a chicken on it because I got chicken. So cute. I typically get the burrito bowl, but I got a salad this time, which is basically the same thing, but just with lettuce in it and it's much cheaper, so like, why not? And it does come with dressing. I see a horse's butt. There's the horse, can you guys see it? There's the butt! There's the butt! I just got out of class and I had my first exam and I'm happy to announce that I passed it. Um, however, I'm still kind of feeling iffy about it because, I don't know, I, I didn't do as well as I thought I would. I just felt really determined to try to get an A this semester, but uh, it doesn't seem like it. But hey, maybe I'll I'll aim for a B. How about that? I'll aim for a B. We didn't have lunch, so I might go and get something to eat and then run errands. But since it's looking really cloudy, I don't really want to run errands. I don't like running errands in the rain. So I got sushi for lunch. It's really good. And of course, after every Asian meal, you get a Chinese fortune cookie. So let's see what this one says. Chinese word is cramping. <laughs> Emotion is energy in motion. Um, I guess that makes sense. And now it's pouring. I knew it. I knew I'd get stuck in the rain. Oh, should I make a run for it? It's a big puddle right here. Uh, I guess I will have to make a run for it. I came home seeing this and all I saw was this big black net and I thought it was like, I don't know, the Grim Reaper or something. It was kind of scary. I guess my dad is changing the um, the screening of the pool because we do have like holes in them. So I guess he's changing them out. Good morning, it's Wednesday. I woke up thinking it's Tuesday, but mom's like, no, it's Wednesday. I really thought it was Tuesday, I'm so tired. Here's Kiwi. What are you eating? Oh, bun me. Mmm. Uh, and I'm just taking out the trash. I went to the gym last night and it was a really good workout, but um, I want to switch it up a little bit. I don't want to get used to just going to the gym, even though you can do a lot of things there. Um, I'm going to do Blagalotti's today. I haven't done one of her workouts in a long time, actually. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm debating whether I should go for a bike ride or not, because it's been a while since I've taken Natasha out as well. It's just gray and gloomy, but it doesn't look like it's going to rain. Yeah, I think I will. Let's go for a bike ride. Hi, mommy. Hmm. Why are you recording? Because it's for the vlog. Hello, Natasha. Ooh, why is it dirty? Bye, mommy. <laughs> All right, Natasha, let's go. about five miles on the bike which isn't too bad I just want to warm up about half an hour and then I also got to 
so funny. My camera is detecting this girl's face on the camera. So there's a box around her uh, face on my camera. So funny. And I also got to donate about 50 cents to uh, what organization did I... I don't remember. I donated to Operation Smile today. It provides life-changing sur surgeries to children. So that's through Charity Miles, which I always use when I go outside to run or bike. But oh my God, I am sweating because the sun came out and yeah, it's a hot one again. And uh, yeah, I got my cardio in somewhat. Now I'm gonna go and um, do some blog -alotties. They're leaving for South Carolina. It's about a six hour drive. Why are so many men? Do you have a bed back here? You need to bring Pooh Bear? Oh my God, get him. <laughs> here. I knew it. Bye Pooh Bear. I wanna go, I changed my mind. <laughs> okay, bye. All right, Cherry, they're gone. We have the house all to ourselves until Sunday. Party! Rave! Party! Okay, I'm done partying. It's gotten really beautiful today and it's hot outside. So I'm over at Luke's place and we're gonna go to the beach. Am I surfing today? Waves are small, perfect for you if you wanna try. I wanna surf. All right. So um, with that time, I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro. Surfing was really fun and we worked up an appetite so we're gonna head over to the burger place and get some burgers. Yeah. yeah. It's downtown so um, yeah we're gonna enjoy the rest of the evening with burgers and we're gonna catch the uh, oh and fries and then we're gonna go and catch the uh, moonrise that's later on tonight. So yeah. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. We got our burgers at the burger place. And I got a mushroom and onion on provolone burger. And then you got like a cute burger head. <laughs> and we got like everything on it, basically. You really do have got everything on there. And then we got fries, so let's dig in. The aftermath. We killed it. And Luke just killed his. It was muy delicioso. It was so good. What I like about this place is um, the owners are French. And they just uh, cooked from, you know, they learned from their country, I guess. And so it was like a different type of burger. I mean, it's a burger, but I don't know, it's not so greasy. And their buns are homemade. They actually make the buns, so it's really good. We're at the beach now and just gonna wait for the main rise. It should be around, I think over there somewhere. And we got some drinks out here. I got some Moscato. And we also got two more bottles. We got red wine. This is Cabernet Sauvignon. And then we also got it's white wine. It's a blend of uh, Pinot Grigio and... Um, Sauvignon Blanc, I believe. Sauvignon Blanc? Yep. Okay. 
cool. Cheers! Yay! <laughs> the hair. The hair blowing. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. Oh, yeah. It is Maybelline. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe it's just Apple. <laughs> Good morning, it's um, Thursday and I'm still with Luke and we're gonna have some breakfast at the um, Mediterranean around the world uh, cafe bakery. Yummy! Last night when we went to the moonrise, oh, which was um, really beautiful by the way. It's just, you know, covered by the clouds a little bit, but it wasn't that bad. But anyway, um, I, ha I had to go to the bathroom real bad because well, we were drinking wine. Typically, we'll just go um, on the beach because it's the beach. And it was like so dark at the time and I'm like, I don't know if there's people around because I can't see because it's so dark. And there's a little boardwalk area um, to get to the beach um, from the road. And it was really, really dark. But I was like, I'm sure there's people there on the boardwalk. But Luke over here was like, no, no, there was, there's no people. You're fine. You're good. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, no, I'm sure there's people. But I got to the point where I had to pee so bad that I'm like, I'm just going to go pee. And if there's people, whatever. So I went to the bathroom on the beach, I just peed, and uh, Luke stood in front of me to kind of, I guess, guard me or, you know, yeah, yeah, just to, yeah, I did my business, and then at the end of the night when we were done, uh, Luke went to the bathroom too, <laughs> he peed on the beach, and uh, when we got up to the boardwalk, we saw his brother over there, <laughs> and it was dark, but we didn't see him, but he was there with his girlfriend. And a telescope. And a telescope. Yeah. <laughs> they had a telescope, and I'm like, oh my god, I think they just like watched us pee. I was like, Luke, I knew there were people there. I knew it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yay, thanks. <laughs> Ooh, beautiful carnations. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was quite embarrassing. I was like, Luke, I knew they were, they were people on the boardwalk and they just watched us pee. Thanks a lot, Luke. Thanks a lot. We got our food, we got crepes. Uh, Luke got a beef and mushroom crepe and I got a turkey, ham, cheese, and egg crepe. Mmm, yeah. And get some bread. It's another beautiful day. Look at that, it's so blue. I'm on my way to the orthodontist. I have another uh, tightening to do. Hopefully, it's not too, too bad because it's my birthday weekend and I plan to like go out and eat and stuff. So hopefully my teeth won't be so bad. There are people outside of my house. They're, I guess they're the ones who are fixing the screen. I thought my dad was, but there are people out there. Let me see if I can find them. They're in there. I don't want to be like, I'm scared. <laughs> but I'm back at home, of course, and my tightening is going well. I asked the, uh, the orthodontist how much longer I have, and they said, they didn't give me like an estimate or anything, but they did say less than a year. I'm excited, I see the progress. I just, you know, I can't wait for these braces to come off, and I want them off before graduation, which is um, May of 2016, so I hope it's, off by then but they're starting to feel a little bit sore what they did was put in a chain um, or like a long elastic band that went from here to the other side so it goes all the way over there and down here too so they're just kind of compressing everything they're squeezing it in so you guys can't tell I can't really see the rubber band actually it blends in pretty nicely yeah since the family is gone, I have to take care of the fish. And by taking care, I mean just feeding them. Oh my God, they're like all watching me. Do you see that? 
They're like, where's my food? Okay, sorry, I'll get you your food. Man. You get some food. You get some food. You get some food. You get some food. And you get some food. There you go. I'm like Oprah, I'm very giving. All right, fish, bon appetit. There's so many dishes to do. I don't even know where to start. I just came back from a doctor's appointment, so I have some time before I have to head to work, about half an hour, so I came back home and I'm just gonna do the dishes. So I've been having a few problems with uh, my health and uh, woman health to be exact. I'm currently on contraceptives and I'm sorry guys, if this is like TMI, you can like go to the next scene, <laughs> but uh, it's something that I, I still share with, you know, girls and you know, you, get, you may relate, and it may be helpful, I don't know. But I've been on the pill for, I don't know how long, since I was 18. I'm 24 right now, so like six years. And I've been on the same brand, and like, it was okay. But I noticed that when I first got on it, I was really like, emotionally crazy although it did work because hey i'm not pregnant it just like i don't know it just makes me crazy like if i'm stressed or depressed like my emotions like go so high i feel like i'm going crazy and i feel like i haven't been emotionally stable in the past six years um i've gained a lot of weight and it's hard for me to lose the weight like if i eat well i'll like lose a few pounds but even if i eat like one bad meal like a burger which i did I gained the weight back right away. So it's like I can't lose weight. Uh, I'm emotionally unstable and I've been having other problems as well, but I'm not gonna go into detail about that. So I went to my gyno today, I uh, got my annual, and I told him um, a few problems that I've been having. He said that maybe it's hormones that at this age I may be having some type of hormonal problem or you know my hormones are just changing so my doctor is going to give me another form of contraceptive he's gonna give me another pill um, that's lower in hormones so uh, we'll see how that goes I have to finish what I have now and then um, I'll use the one that he gives me for about two months and see how that goes, if that makes any changes, if there's a difference. Um, if I don't like it, then he'll give me something else. So for the next few months, as I change medication, I think I'm gonna be really out of whack, but hopefully um, I improve. Hopefully it works better. That was my girl moment. I'm sorry if that was TMI, but um, I don't know. I feel like as a girl, it's easy to share your health problems with other girls because we all go through our own problems, but they can be very relatable. Zippity doo da, zippity yay. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine coming my way. Zippity doo da, zippity yay. I'm very excited about today, as you can tell. It is the start of my birthday weekend. My birthday is actually on Monday, but I'm gonna celebrate this weekend, of course. I have to go to work first, but I'm gonna leave early, and then I'm gonna head over to Disney with Luke. We're gonna spend the weekend up there, and I'm just excited. I'm with Luke, and we're on our way to Orlando, and he got me some flowers, some birthday flowers, and he was very adamant in bringing them to Orlando. So we found a vase, and we're just gonna gonna keep it in there because he wants me to enjoy my flowers throughout the weekend I guess we just checked into the hotel we're staying at a Best Western and it's pretty cool for 70 like nine bucks a night oh Luke's in the bathroom it's pretty nice there's a little vanity area not that great lighting but it's still something uh, bed and we're on the uh, 18th floor which is the highest floor um, we don't got a balcony but we got a uh, really high view yeah, and then downtown Disney is over there. So we'll walk over there later tonight. Tonight, tonight. And yeah, we're just gonna enjoy. It's a pretty cool view though. You can see very far. We're on our way to downtown Disney. I had a good nap. Slept for about an hour and we're ready to head on over to our dinner reservation. And we're walking over there. We're actually kind of hiking it. Here is Splitsville. We're kind of late actually because the water taxi is running late. And yeah, hopefully they can still squeeze this in. <laughs> Starting off with some macho nachos, it looks so good. We got a sushi bowl, it's really cool. And then Luke 
guy ate cheeseburger. He's just a cheeseburger guy. <laughs> yeah, and we were demolishing this. It's so good. Good food. Good food. We got these humongous Long Island iced teas. Cheers. Cheers. I can't lift it up. <laughs> so heavy. No. No. My turn. <laughs> We got our lane and Luke is up. You ready for this one? with a floater of Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey. What? So uh, let's try it. It's really cold. Oh my, smell it. it. Smells like cinnamon. Yeah. Super cinnamon. Yeah, let's try it. I'm gonna help her. Super cinnamon. Whoa. Yeah. Cinnamon. Yeah. Try it. to hold it because I'm vlogging. Because apparently I can't do both no, right now. No, I'm just really, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling nice right now. And we're just gonna walk the rest of downtown Mel uh, Mel Melbourne. <laughs> downtown uh, Disney. Downtown Disney, not downtown Melbourne. white one right here. I've been looking for one, but I haven't found one. So. And they have these really cool, um, small Kentucky Derby-ish hats. And they're wobbling. Yeah. <laughs> How did you make it smaller? Oh! Oh my goodness, yeah! Is it good? Yeah, it feels tight. Feel it. Is it good? Yeah. You can feel it like it's snug on there. to the hat. Oh, I see. So I just put them in there to see if it fits first, and then if you like the hat, I attach it to the hat all the way around. Like permanently right. attach well, it? You, you oh. just kind of basically, it won't fall out. Oh, cool. Oh, I see out. that. Okay. I just have to detach that part. Yeah, I, I, I like it a lot. Oh! There you go, girl. I've been looking for a sun hat, but they customized it. They made it fit my head, and I have a very small head. So they made it fit it snug and I'm very excited. I have a hat that fits me now. So I just took out my wallet thinking it was my phone. Yeah, I just did that. I've done a lot of drinking tonight, not as much as I've done before in the past, but it was good. It was enough to get me um, loosey-goosey, I guess you can say. But we're back at our hotel now and we're 
I'm pretty much chilling for the rest of the night. I'm not tired yet, so it's. A, oh, I don't know what time it is. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I have my phone right next to me. I don't know why I got up. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's midnight. It's June 7th. So it's Sunday and it's the start of a whole new week. But I'm gonna do that at, at, uh, to, uh, next week's vlog. But I'm gonna end this vlog and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was, a, it was very eventful to say the least. And I will continue my birthday weekend adventure in next week's vlog. So I will end this vlog and I will end it, of course, with an Apple moment. And for this week's Apple moment, even in my drunken state, I will think of one. So hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, maybe I shouldn't do this. I can't think of an Apple moment of like a past humiliating, embarrassing moment. So let's do something, like a dare. So, in my drunkenness, maybe I will try to recite the alphabet backwards. Let's try to do that, okay? We'll start that at Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T, S, R, Q, P, O, N, M, L, K, J, H, J, J, K, K, J, L, M, N, O, P. Wait, that's the opposite way. Hold up. F, G, H, I, J, I, H, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. I probably got that completely wrong, but that was my attempt at reciting the alphabet backwards while drunk, and that's your apple moment for this week. <laughs> Woo! Shoot! Oh my goodness, I can't hold my camera. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you guys had a good week, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.